Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, Saul Canelo Alvarez is about to fight Eris Landy Lara. And if anyone should know who might have the upper hand in this fight, I would argue that that person would be Austin Trout. Why? Because Austin Trout fought both. Right? And Austin Trout went the distance with both. Right? Trout wasn't in there for a cup of coffee and a slap on the back. He actually was there for 12 rounds against both Canelo and Emerson Landy Lara. Now there is a great article. It's on a website you need to know about. It's 8, that's the number 8, countnews.com. Right? They have interviewed Austin Trout and really the headline says it all. Austin Trout is quoted in the following manner. He says, Lara is going to outbox the S out of Canelo. Right? That's Trout's opinion. I happen to share it. But now you're getting the opinion of a guy who's actually been in the ring with both. Right? And let me just say, what I like about the quote here is the decisiveness. Here is the uh, interview part, right? The interviewer says, Canelo and Lara will fight in July. After being in the ring with both of them, whom do you favor to win that fight? Austin Trout's response. I got Lara winning. I don't think he'll knock him out, but I think he's going to dominate. He's going to outbox the S out of him, in my opinion. Whether they give it to him, that's the question. Now let me make a few points and let me also say I've posted a link to this article on DwyerBoxingNews.com. Many times when I mention an article I've stumbled across on a great site that I think you need to know about like this one, I'll actually post a link to it on my website. If you click on the link, it'll take you to 8CountNews.com, right? Well, let me just say this. Trout uses the word dominate. Right? Dominate. Now, let me say, if you look at the CompuBox numbers for Trout's fight against Canelo, you're going to be surprised at how one-sided they were. Now, I'll concede as I watched that fight, I thought Canelo was doing a lot better than I thought he would. Canelo looked good in that fight. Canelo scores the one knockdown in that fight. Let me add a but though. Right? I thought if we were scoring that fight in the normal course, I don't think Canelo won that fight. Right? You cannot land the volume with the regularity that Austin Trout did and lose with those scores on the scorecard. There's another problem with that fight. I believe it's tainted in so far as they announce scores after four rounds, after eight rounds. I don't like that in the slightest. You're watching a fight, the fight's close. Suddenly, one of the fighters hears he's several rounds ahead. Good luck coming within the area code of that fighter. If I'm fighting you and it's uncertain, then I hear after eight, hey, you have this in the bag. All you have to do is stay on your feet. You think I'm going to stick around so that you can hit me upside the face with shots? I'm going to be timid. I'll be sticking a jab out and I'll be running away. Because I'll know I don't need to win all four of the remaining rounds. If I win one more round, hey, you can't even catch me on the scorecards unless you knock me down. 
that's what happened in the Canelo Trout fight. Right? Let's hope that that's not going to be the situation with Eris Landy Laura Canelo. Right? Count me among those OGs, those old timers, who prefers to have some mystery in the sport. Who wants to be with a group of people as the fight gets to the later part of the fight. And then, you know, be talking to people saying, hey, how are you scoring the fight? Right? Figuring out how we see it so when the decision comes down, if the decision is bogus, we know it's bogus. Right? I don't want something else where they tell us one guy's ahead and you're sitting there to yourself you're saying, man, I, that's not the fight I'm watching, but, uh, well, you know, whatever. Then at the end of the fight when they say, and the winner is the guy we told you about, you're sitting there saying, well, they told me four rounds ago he was up. I guess I'll accept this. I don't like that in the slightest. Well, let me point out, Trout goes on in the piece to compare and contrast how Lara will do versus how Mayweather will do. He makes the point that Mayweather actually stepped on the gas a bit more than he expects Lara to step on the gas. But he does say that Lara is very tricky. He wants a rematch with Lara, but he concedes that, that Lara is a very skilled boxer with a full bag of tricks. Right? So, before you run out there and bet your hard-earned money on this fight, Right Before you listen to all of the hacks here on YouTube, myself included, I want you to at least consider, right? read, consider, think about the views of a fighter who's been in the ring with both. Trout's not speculating about what it's like to fight Canelo. He's not hypothecating about what it's like. To fight Eris Landy Lara. He's been in the ring with both. He expects one to dominate the other. The only question in his mind is whether the guy doing the dominating will get credit for the domination. And he says so as someone who, quite frankly, according to CompuBox, dominated Canelo in the CompuBox numbers, not on the judges' scorecards. I think this is worth a read. I hope you give it a look. And if you come across other articles that you feel offer a lot of insight on this fight, I hope you leave those articles here in the comment section, at least a reference to those articles, how we can find them in the comment section to this video on YouTube. Thanks for stopping by.